Hi, Joe Morgan here with Bob's Market at Greenhouses. And this evening, we're actually in my kitchen. And what I wanted to do was show you a great fall recipe. Um, what says fall better than apples? And apple butter. But a lot of people think that apple butter is a really complicated recipe and you need a fire and a copper kettle and everything to make it. But actually, you can make it right in your house using a crock pot. So let me show you this simple recipe. All apple butter starts off with the same basic ingredient, apples. And you can either use finely chopped apples, they'll take a little bit longer to cook, or you can do like I did and use applesauce, either homemade or store-bought. The next ingredient is of course the spices. And there's three main spices in a typical apple butter. Of course the primary spice is cinnamon. And then also you have apple pie spice which is a mixture of cinnamon, nutmeg, and allspice. And then also ground nutmeg. And depending on the type of apple butter you want to make, you can vary uh, the amounts of the different spices to get different flavors. And the next ingredient in apple butter is sugar. And it's kind of up to you how much sugar you use, but the color in apple butter, and of course the flavor, is a result of the caramelization of the sugar. And in my case, I'm using Demerara cane sugar. Um, it's a less processed version of good old sugar that you use every day. And to me, it gives a little bit of a deeper flavor. And now it's time for my secret ingredient. Red cinnamon candies. Now, if you've ever had these, you know they they pack quite a little kick to them. And by adding them to the applesauce and letting them mix in, it gives it a nice little kick. And, you know, it's up to you whether you add them or not, but to me, it just gives it that extra little touch of goodness. All right, so our next step is to add all the ingredients. So let me start off first by adding our spices. So we'll just dump those in. And next we'll add our sugar. And last but not least, our secret ingredient, the cinnamon candies. And now we want to just give everything a nice stir and get it all nice and mixed in. There we go. And now that we've got everything mixed in good, we want to set our crock pot up on high for about 12 to 18 hours. Uh, however long it takes for the apple butter to cook down. And again, depending on whether you choose to use fresh apples or apple butter, uh, your time will vary. And here we have our finished apple butter. And it can either be stored in the refrigerator or you can can it uh, by using a hot water bath for about 20 minutes. For this and other great information, check us out at bobsmarket.com.